All right, hey, John Nelson with Elite Level Performance. ISO Extreme number two, the ISO Extreme push-up. So, ISO Extreme push-up, I'm gonna demonstrate from a standing position so you can see all the detail of it. But you can do this on the floor. You can also do this against a wall. So kind of an alternative is like the wall ISO Extreme push-up. But regardless, it's all gonna be the same. The positions are all the same. So, all right, so here's what we're gonna do in the ISO Extreme push-up. First things first is gonna be that 90 degree angle. So we talked about that in a couple of the other ISOs, 90 degrees. As the founder of these would say, if it's not a right angle, it's a wrong angle. So 90 degree angle of the forearm to the ground. And the lunge is gonna be the shin to the ground, the wall sit, shin to the ground. So push up, forearm 90 degrees to the ground. Elbows are gonna be about 45 degrees away from the body. Now, pull the lower back in. So we have a nice neutral spine, just like some of the other ISOs. And what you'll do is you'll come, you'll sink into that bottom position. Now, you will engage the upper back and shoulder blades. So I like to coach our, uh, our clients and athletes, pretend like there's a bar going across your upper back. And that bar is going all the way across here, and you're pulling this way. So as you're engaging here, all this is lengthening out. That's one of the big things about ISOs we talked about in the intro video, is that Muscles will lengthen, but they have to lengthen through contraction. And then there's this whole reciprocal inhibition process. And just understand that as you contract here, this has to lengthen. That's how the human body works. So engaging here, elbows 45 degrees away from the body, elbows 90 degrees to the ground, lower back pulled in. Same concept of the other one is once you break position, so say the back arches, you need to stop, reset, and start back over. You don't want to sink all the way down, keeping like a, a big arch in the lower back. Again, that defeats the purpose. So you could do these on the ground with push-up handles. You could do them on, on the wall. If you do them on the wall, it's going to be the same thing. It's no different other than the fact that maybe you'll come up to the ball of your foot a little bit, okay? And you'll start and pull and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until you can no longer maintain that position. Now, a couple things with the push-up. If you have poor wrist mobility like myself, Sometimes just going flat like that on a box or a bench or something may actually bug your wrist. So you can close the hand if you need to, or you can use push-up handles. I prefer push-up handles like a perfect push-up or something like that. Same thing on the wall. You can go fists on the wall if you need to. Now, the other question that we get the most is depth. Um, so how do I know, or excuse me, depth and elevation. So how do we know how high we need to be in the ISO push-up? So it, your depth is gonna be based on how deep into the position you can get. So again, say this is the ground. If I can get here, like my chest can touch the ground. And so I will obviously need to elevate. And then some people may be, you know, push up handles or something, maybe that high off the ground. Some people may be that high just because they've been doing this longer and, and that shoulder and chest can open up a lot more and they can get deeper into the position. It's all gonna be based on really how deep you can go. So just start, you know, a couple inches off the ground and that'll be a good starting point for you. Uh, if you're on the wall, obviously you're only gonna be able to get to the point where you're right, you know, right about here. The wall starts to get too easier for you, then we start to maybe get like a barbell and start to bring that bar down. So then we're here, and then we're here, and then we're here, next thing you know, you're on the ground. So there's a couple different variations of how you do it, but again, the uh, methodology is the same. It's forearm 90 degrees to the ground, elbow 45 degrees away, squeeze the upper back, shoulder blades, neutral spine, get all this to lengthen out. That's your ISO Extreme push-up.